Dozen people were hurt in an explosion in South Los Angeles. Police trying to detonate illegal fireworks seized from a home last night. Eyewitness News reporter Tony Cabrera has been talking to officers all morning long. He has the latest on the investigation. Tony. John, we've learned the national ATF team is on the way to South L.A. right now to conduct a thorough investigation. In the meantime, the LAPD is working to maintain the integrity of this crime scene that is still active. 17 people were injured in this case, 10 being LAPD officers, one ATF agent. I mean, imagine what that kaboom can do to your ears, but also not to mention all the debris that comes with it and then the ripple effect with a shattered glass. I mean, look at this apartment complex just across the street here no window there because all that glass is on the sidewalk below definitely intense mostly minor injuries here most were treated and released but the video shows how intense it was take a look A bomb squad truck that's designed to hold explosive material is destroyed in a blast that rocked the South L.A. neighborhood near 27th and San Pedro streets. Homes and cars were damaged and glass at nearby businesses shattered. Earlier in the day, the LAPD seized at least 5,000 pounds of illegal fireworks from a home. Work was being done throughout the day to move the commercial grade fireworks to an off-site location. During this operation, 40 IEDs the size of soda cans were found, along with 200 smaller devices. The material was transferred to a total containment vehicle, they call it, with an iron chamber. In that chamber is where the material is supposed to be safely detonated. But at about 7.30 last night when the team went to detonate the material, something went horribly wrong, and they're calling it a catastrophic failure. They had 10 pounds of, of explosive device substance that they put in there. This truck is rated for a lot more pounds than that, at least 15 pounds. So um, all protocols training was followed. We don't sure what happened. Uh, this vehicle came apart, literally. A 27-year-old man named Arturo Cejas is in custody for possessing a destructive device. The case has been sent to the DA's office and more charges could be added to this, including child endangerment, because we're told a 10-year-old child was living in that home. Of course, we're hoping to learn more as the national ATF team arrives to conduct that thorough investigation. Live in South LA, Tony Cabrera, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.